Hi there guys, uh, welcome to this video tutorial uh, about programming principles. Well, in the last uh, few tutorials we talked about swapping, we talked about arrays, how you can pull information, how you can display the arrays information, and you how, how you can insert values into arrays. In some cases you want to sort a number of values, however, uh, sorry, uh, you want to sort the values in the array. Um, there are many ways to do it. Today we are going to talk about one one method here. It's the bubble sort. So uh, I've created this demo, and I hope it will it will show you how you can. Uh, uh, I hope it will show you how uh, uh, or make you understand how bubble sort works. In case you don't know it, so uh, I'm gonna hit start demo here. So have a look here. Um, now it's sorting and I'm gonna start explaining what's happening in a minute and the values are now sorted okay so what you see here is that uh, let me hit one step at a time and start the demo okay so what you see over here is a number of values so here you have the value uh, 62 67 92 42 and so on. If the value is small, it's represented by a small rectangle. If the value is high, it's represented by a big rectangle. Uh, and when you sort the values, you want the smallest value to be at uh, at top and the uh, largest value at the bottom. Bottom. So um, the method works like this: it compares each two consecutive values. If they are in the correct order, it's going to leave them as they are. If they are not, it's going to swap them. Now, just uh, check these two, and the next step is to check 67 uh, and 192. So I'm going to click OK. Now, you saw that it didn't swap them, left them as they are, because they are in the correct order. Next, we're going to check 92 with 42, which uh, and, and they are uh, not in the correct order. So they are swapped and the same goes for 92 and 86 check this out okay what you see now here is that 92 is moving down uh, which uh, it, it's the largest value and the largest value always moves down and but in the bubble sort so I'll click again you can see 92 okay now 92 and 2 compare these and 92 and 18 compares these Okay, so now we finished with this one. This is the first pass. The next pass, we are going to start comparing 62 and 67. Uh, and by the way, after each pass on the data, uh, the the last value uh, is in its correct uh, location. So there's no need to compare uh, or, uh, to perform comparison with that value anymore. So here I indicated it with the white box. Now, it, uh, the uh, our algorithm checked the first two. Now it's gonna check uh, uh, 67 and 42. So need swapping. Uh, uh, we need to swap them. It's gonna check 67, 86. Um, they are in the correct order. Now uh, 86 and 66 swapped, and 86 and 2 swap. 86 and 18. Okay. Now 86 is in its correct location. Let's go back to. Um, to the top 62 and 42 so basically you need to swap them and 62 67 they are in correct order 67 66 being swapped and so on and so on and so on and so on okay so um, you continue uh, doing that until there is no uh, there is no swap operation uh, there okay so I'm gonna hit yes okay and it's done okay now I'm gonna remove the one step at a time and you can see it work uh, uh, very fast uh, see it working very fast check this out okay so what you see is that the largest value always go to the bottom so uh, from all this list the largest value 85 goes to the end later on from all this list except 85 the largest value will go to the bottom and so on bottom and so on uh, let's see this again okay and 
you can see here the largest body goes down okay now let's think about this uh, a little bit let, let us try uh, how do you memorize uh, how this algorithm works well from its name it's bubble sort uh, if you have a glass of soda uh, what happens to it well uh, usually the big bubbles will go up while the, uh, the small bubbles will stay at the bottom so uh, I've created something like this so we have this glass and I'm, I'm gonna reverse the condition and I'm gonna start this demo so check this out okay so what you see now that the large values or let's say the large bubbles go up and the small values or the small bubbles go down as you can see here um, again okay and uh, you will find this demo available uh, on the website so you can download it and experiment with it uh, the, you can run this demo one step at a time uh, and understand how it works okay if you would like you can just click here one step at a time and uh, when you run this demo it's gonna execute a single step and wait for you uh, and uh, ask you whether you want to continue if you want to continue just hit yes if you want to stop just hit no okay so this is the first part and by the way uh, the number of swaps and, and number of compares be, is being displayed here now uh, the other thing in this demo, a demo is that uh, we have the uh, I also implemented the bubble stop without this uh, this graphical user interface. So I click here uh, one uh, more, uh, 101 value being generated randomly. As you can see here, they are not all displayed. Uh, if you click OK, they will be sorted. Okay. Now uh, let's go to the code and see how it works okay so the code of bubble sort is actually very simple uh, before before that in order to see this sort uh, if you if you go here you'll find that there's a lot of code while well, most of this code is related to uh, to the demo itself what you want to check is actually uh, the code in here okay uh, and the bubble sort without GUI so now what do you see here the first part is defining the array itself uh, and then uh, we fold the array with not random values in your program you might want to fold the information from database or any other source okay next you want to display the values we don't need to do that but this is just for demonstration okay and then we'll wait for the end user to hit ok and the sorting routine is very small it's here so first thing to do is to define what's called a flag and this flag is being used to indicate whether we need to do another pass or not you need to perform another bubble sort pass on your data if uh, there was a change uh, in, the, in the previous pass okay and the uh, EOA is the end of array uh, here it it represents the location of the last element that we need to check against okay and this one TMP is, is used for swapping so first thing to do when you enter the loop or when the pass starts you assume that the, the uh, data uh, is so already sorted so you, you assume that uh, and uh, by setting this to false it means there is no change uh, to the uh, to, to the uh, values had been made okay which means uh, they are already sorted okay and next you will check all the values uh, so here uh, this for loop will check all the values now if two consecutive values are misplaced so this is the first value this is the value with this uh, with the uh, which come first and this is the value which comes second you, you can check the index here to present the location so the location of this value is is lower than the location of the second value uh, if this evaluates to true this means they are misplaced 
misplaced in that case you swap the values and you already know how to do swap uh, after you swap then you set the flag to true and after you finish this pass the last element is already uh, it's already in its correct place in that case you just decrease the number of elements by one and uh, you keep looping as long as the uh, flag indicates that you need to do another pass and finally you display the information so all sort is uh, fun um, very easy to implement I hope you'll find this useful um, if you have more questions uh, or if you uh, if you have notes send them to notes at mkdiceserve.com also check out the website you can download the source code from there thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye